This Kyrie Irving build will have you snatching the defender's ankles and greening all your threes to finish your own clips. But if you just want to run and fade, this build can do that too. We get an extremely high three on this build to green all of our fades. And even if we want to step way behind the line and shoot from Limitless, we can green those shots too. Not to mention the unlimited crabs you get on this build. Defender playing behind us, that's easy threes. What's good everybody? We are back and today I have my Kyrie Irving build for you in NBA 2K25. This is a build that ends up getting a 99 ball handle if you do the steps that I tell you to exactly. Definitely one of the craziest point guard builds I've put together this year. Stick around all the way through the video. I tell you guys exactly where I'm going to use my cat breakers and my max plus one badges. I have everything for you in this video, not to mention the insane build I'm about to show you. Not wasting any more of your time, let's get right into this Kyrie build. Starting out the physicals, if you didn't know, Kyrie is six foot two. So you know we had to get him right with that. We are also gonna go position point guard, weight 184 pounds, and a wingspan of six foot five. I wanted to have the weight low enough so that we were able to get the 94 speed with ball to get that legend lightning launch off rip. I don't want to have to wait for my max plus ones each season to have that on a Kyrie build. There's a bunch more reasons why I went this exact height, weight, and wingspan, as we'll talk about throughout the build. But really not too much else to say about this, so let's start with the finishing stats. So for the finishing on this build, we do end up getting a 72 close shot, a 90 driving layup, a 73 driving dunk, and then the post control ends up coming up to 34 with some other stuff that we upgraded. I am absolutely loving the high layup this year, especially with how broken the real player percentage layups still are. I said in my last video too, they dropped their big season two patch and did not fix the real player percentage layups. So throw this layup on a 90, turn on real player percentage, and you're going to be finishing layups at an insane rate. This unlocks us a ton of different layup animations, as well as bronze aerial wizard gold float game and silver layup mix master like i said though none of that really matters that much with how broken the real player percentage layups are it's basically just the higher the rating the more it goes in on that setting even if people are playing good defense i'm laying over them very consistently but it's not only layups, we also get the 73 driving dunk on this build. It's going to unlock you a bunch of different dunk animations. Some of them are super glitchy this year with the low ratings. There's a ton of videos out on the best dunk packages, and there's some very, very good ones with a 73. Not to mention, Kyrie's not a super high-flying guy anyways, so I think this 73 fits him well. I really just wanted to focus on and making sure we were investing in driving layup because we know how Kyrie is with the layups. Dude has some of the craziest finishes of all time, and I had to make sure to reflect that in this build. Getting right into the shooting on this Kyrie Irving build, we end up going with an 82 mid-range, a 92 three-point shot, and a 73 free throw. Now on some of the intro clips, you might have seen badges popping up that did not come with a 92 three, but I have been messing around with my max plus ones quite a bit, testing out different stuff, haven't really decided what I want to land on yet. This is also an area you could put your cat breakers if you wanted to. I'm going to explain later how you can get a 99 ball handle with this, but if you wanted to put them on shooting, you could throw them on the three-point shot. Bringing that up to the 95 max will get you a few more shooting badges upgraded so that's something else i've been looking into but the main thing about this build is getting the 99 ball handle so i'll explain that to you in a little bit because that's probably where i'm going to focus my cat breakers but i am about to hit veteran two and get a whole nother five so that's going to make this build even better but besides all the cat breakers and max plus ones for base ratings on this build we do get gold dead eye silver limitless range silver mini marksman gold set shot specialist and gold shifty shooter after the most recent patch shooting has gotten pretty easy having the badges where they are on this build we're going to be shooting super consistently that's another reason i wouldn't want to use the cat breakers here just because of how easy the patch made it to shoot I've seen people shooting 70% hundreds of games in season two already. Like I said, if you want to throw the cat breakers here, you can, but I don't think it's worth it. Shooting's good on this build, but this is not even the highlight. Let's check out the playmaking on this one. All right, this right here is going to be the biggest part of our Kyrie Irving build, the playmaking. We do get a 71 pass accuracy. 94 ball handle and in 94 speed of the ball now starting with the speed of the ball 94 does end up getting us legend lightning launch so we don't have to worry about any max plus one stuff Kyrie is probably the greatest dribbler of all time the playmaking might be a little bit overkill in this build but i wanted to make sure we are representing him as good as possible and legend lightning launch will definitely do that so as far as the 94 ball handle you can put your cap breakers here this is what i was talking about getting it to 99 but since the build caps out at a 98 ball handle, I'm also going to use the playmaking takeover on this build to get it to 99. So although my attribute might not show it, my takeover does get it to 99. And even with it on a 98, it's going to up our badges like crazy. But even to start, we get gold ankle assassin, 
Hall of Fame handles for days. We're gonna be dribbling forever on this build and we also get gold unpluckable so we're not getting ripped by lockdowns. And that's just off rip. Like I said, this does get to a 98 with cap breakers and then 99 plus with takeover. Also, forgot to mention, but once you put the cap breakers on, as soon as you hit the 95 ball handle, you unlock every dribble move in the entire game. So you'll also be able to get that Steve Francis on this build with cap breakers. And even if you're not end up getting starter three, which most of you probably will, there is one cap breaker at the end of the season past this season. So you could throw that on ball handle, have it at 95 and still get every dribble move in the entire game because there's nothing else unlocked past the 95 whole bunch of options honestly do whatever you want to do it's up to preference but we also do get a 71 pass accuracy on this build if you watch any of my videos i'm right around this rating on almost every build it's very good and lanes just got patched i was using it when lanes were crazy and it was still plenty i can't imagine now and it's also going to get a silver dimer and bronze break starter it's more than enough and i don't really see a reason to dump any more attributes into this rating insane playmaking finishing and shooting on this build but you haven't even seen the defense yet so let's check that out now all right, for the defense on this build, we do get a 46 interior, 85 perimeter, 91 steel, 36 block, and a 60 defensive rebound. Before people are complaining and saying the steal is too high for Kyrie, he does average about one and a half steals per game throughout his career. And with the recent nerf to steal, I think 91 fits him pretty well. It is going to end up getting us gold glove and gold interceptor on this build. You are still going to be able to get a lot of steals. You just have to know when to time it. And me personally will probably not go above a 91 for the rest of the year just because of what happened in season two patch. They're still decent, but it's not worth investing super expensive attributes into it. 85 perimeter does get us silver challenger, silver on ball menace, silver pick dodger and gold off ball pest. That off-ball pest will help us not get backdoor cut. The other badges will help us get bumps on the perimeter, get better contests. Again, the season two patch hurt the contest system a little bit. You have to pretty much jump at every shot. I mean, Mike Wang even said it. But 85, if you're playing good defense, will get you stops. Don't worry about this build on defense. It is not a liability whatsoever. And then I did also end up throwing the 60 defensive rebound in this build just to get bronze rebound chaser. Kyrie always grabs a smooth four or five rebounds a game and it's a super cheap attribute so definitely worth throwing on this build. So far extremely well-rounded build can't complain at all solid in all four categories. Let's check out the physicals real quick. And then for the physicals on this Kyrie build we get an 89 speed 80 agility 45 strength and a 59 vertical. Now this is the version I personally made of the build but if you want to get posterizer on bronze which I don't know if it does all that much this year you're still going to get the same dunk packages you don't unlock contact dunks or anything with that. It's just for a badge that really doesn't give you posterizers but you could lower something to get the 60 vertical because that 73 driving dunk will get you bronze posterizer with a 60 vertical but i did not end up doing that actually i just double checked it is 65 vertical but it's still super cheap i really don't know if it's worth it just because the badge doesn't really do that much on bronze and you don't have contact dunks anyways but it's up to preference whatever you want to do like i always say just use this build as a template and change it how you want but an 89 speed this year, if you didn't know, especially on a player this small, is extremely fast. You're going to be getting up and down the court all around super quick. Along with the 80 agility to move good on defense, that's only going to be really when you're holding LT. But if you're sprinting across the court at somebody, like just running, it's going to be the speed rating, which is super, super high, like I said. 45 strength, not going to do all that much. And then the 59 vertical will help you grab a few more rebounds. Again, nothing crazy. But not going for a high flyer. I'm going to play like Kyrie. And I really, really like how it turned out. Let's check out the build name on this one real quick. All right, for the build name, nothing crazy. We're a two-way, three-level shot creator. I feel like I've seen this a hundred times already this year. But like I always say, not going to sacrifice a good build just because I don't love the name. Overall, I hope you guys like this one. If you end up making it, drop a like, drop a sub on your way out. And I will catch you in the next one.